hello guys welcome to another video on wp blogger youtube channel in today's video we are going to learn how to make seo friendly wordpress post we are going to learn how to make your articles or the post you'll be making on your wordpress very seo friendly so that you can rank higher on google before i get started into today's video i want you to know the best wordpress hosting for beginners is bluehost as you can see from here we are using bluehost for all our tutorials we are using bluehost for all our wordpress sites i have leave a link below this video click on it it will bring you to this wordpress hosting page on bluehost click on get started and select any package that you want from bluehost is what i recommend for the best wordpress experience also don't forget to subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell to receive alerts anytime i release one of my video tutorials you will receive a notification don't forget to smash the like button give me the thumbs up it means a whole lot to me if you have any questions don't forget to leave them in the comment box below now let's get started into today's video the plugin that we are going to use is all in one seo and i'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to get the best out of this seo plugin let's go into our dashboard here so inside our dashboard we've been using wp tools guide for all our tutorials so this site was purposely built to teach you all the wordpress tutorials you need come to your plugin section and click on add new So inside your plugins area, let's search for all in one SEO. So there's a plugin right here, and I'll click on install now. Once installation is completed, let's click on activate. Our plugin has activated successfully. Let's all go through the SEO settings for the onboarding wizard. So I'll just click on SEO settings here. We are now inside the main dashboard of all in one seo you can watch this video if you want but that is the main reason why you are watching this video and um we don't need the license key because we are using the free version so let's just click on launch this setup wizard So welcome to the all-in-one SEO setup wizard. Let's click on, let's get started. Follow this guide step by step. Don't skip any part of this video. And you will learn how to make all your blog posts and your WordPress site SEO friendly. So if your site your wordpress site is a blog select this if it's an online store that is e-commerce select this if it's for your corporation your portfolio a small business or a news channel our tutorial site 
wp2 guide is a block so i'll leave it on the default here block we'll come to the home page title so we want the site title that we've given ourselves then the separator then the tagline let me show you um these two the site title and the tagline let's go back to the dashboard here and quickly let me show them to you let's go into settings then i'll go into general settings here general so this is a site title and this is the tagline these two this is what you are going to have here so if you want a different site title or a tagline just edit it edit it from here so let's continue with this we have our home page meta description you can also click on view tags if you want to add more by default these are okay here are the other tags available that you can play with and let's click on save and continue okay so additional site information um does your site belong to an individual person or an organization select the right one i've selected person here choose the person this is the admin account so we've selected this if you want to add a default social share image you can also upload it here i'll leave it by default your social profiles if you have social links for your various um social accounts just enter them inside these places just enter them here so for example i'll enter here for our facebook page link right here i can also add our youtube url here so you can go through and fill in the pages that you want and click on save and continue which seo features do you want to enable we want to have sitemaps enabled yes we also want to optimize for search appearance yes um get the number one let's leave this one for now and the rest are pro versions so we'll just leave them then we'll click on save and continue okay so this is our search appearance this is how the site will look like on google so this is our url then we have our headline here then the site description our site is live but if yours is under construction make it so the site is live so leave them as selected here and click on save and continue set up site analyzer and smart recommendation you can allow it i'm going to skip this for now skip this step we don't need it because we are using a free version let's skip this step and congratulations your site is now seo ready so let's go into our dashboard to finish the setup So we are done with our setup here.
Now let me show you one or two things before we continue. I'll come to site maps here. Let me click on site maps. I want to show you your site map URL that you are going to submit to Google Search Console so that anytime you publish a new post, the Google um, crawlers will come to your site quickly to index your post. So we've enabled site map. We have our site map settings here. You just leave them on default here. But let's click on open site map here. So this is our site map URL. This is a URL you submit to your Google Search Console. I have another video on XML site map for Google. You can check out that video. I teach you step by step guide on how to submit your site map to Google. This video is not for that. I'm just showing you your URL. Now that we've done the basic settings, let's go into creating a new post. Most often, you'll be creating posts on your WordPress site. So that is where we are going to focus on. That is where we are going to learn more about how to make our post SEO friendly. Now we've done how to make the site SEO friendly. Let's look at how to make our post SEO friendly. So our title is going to be, for example, how to make WordPress post SEO friendly. Let me type this one here. You have an SEO score here. Just get 80 and above. So now we have 69 over 100. Select the category of your blog post. Let's select the category. Just add some tax. Enter your, upload your featured image here. And this is the important place that we have to look at. This is the important place we have to look at. So this is our title here. We, we've done the post title. We have the meta description. We can decide to delete this one. Let's see. So let's delete this one. I'll click on backspace here to delete the post except and we can enter our own meta description for our post here. We will enter our focus keyword here and we come back and make our post here. So as we are making our post, we will be seeing these numbers changing. We want to target 80 and above. And also use this page analysis as your guide. So follow these guides. Get 80 per 80 over 100 years, which is 80%. And be able to get an SEO friendly article. Once you are done, just hit publish to have your blog post seo friendly so guys this is how easy it is to make your site seo friendly using all in one seo plugin i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if yes smash the like button give me the thumbs up it means a whole lot to me and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and enable the notification bell if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment box below. Before I take leave of you, I want to remind you that I have prepared some WordPress resources for beginners. If you're a beginner in WordPress, if you're a beginner in blogging, these resources are meant for you. 
check them in the description box below this video go through these resources and become a better wordpress blogger until i come your way with another video is bye bye from wp blogger